Okay, welcome to Unreal Engine ND. Today we are going to get strafing working. Wukong can move forward, backwards, left, right, and 45 degrees, backwards, and forwards. So that's what we're going to get done today is strafing. So let's go ahead and fire up the editors. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open up three files. We need the Wukong character CPP, Wukong Anim Instance.h, and Wukong Anim Instance.cpp. So go ahead and open up those three files. And let's jump into Wukong character.cpp. So the first thing we need to do is we need to do set up the pitch y'all pitch y'all and roll and we're going to do b use controller not user use controller b use controller rotation pitch and we're going to say false and B use not user use controller pitch y'all and that's going to be true and then B use controller pitch roll that is going to be false So basically what this is doing is just setting things up in the blueprint. So when you fire it up, it's going to be set in the blueprint. And I'll show you later where, where this stuff is. So the pitch is false. The yaw is true. And the roll is false. Now we next thing we need to do is we need to configure... character movement. First thing we need to do is we need to zero out the pitch and roll. Zero pitch and roll only rotate in y'all direction. Okay for this we're going to do get character movement. But what we need to do is get character movement is an include. So go ahead and make sure that you come up here and do include game framework character movement component. So get character movement. And we want to use orient rotation movement. So B orient rotation movement equals true. So we want to orient the rotation movement equals true. And then we want to do get character movement rotation rate rotation rate is going to be an F rotator and we're going to do 0.F 540.F and 0.F so we've uh, added the controller rotation pitch is false controller rotation y'all is true Controller rotation roll is false. And character movement, we need to orient the movement equals true. Orient rotation movement equals true. Get character movement. Rotation rate equals F rotator. And we're going to zero out the pitch and the roll. And we only want the yaw, but uh, rotation rate is going to be at 540. So go ahead and save that, and we'll jump into the Wukong Anim instance. 
Okay, so in the Wukong anim instance dot h, the header file, we're going to need a float, and this is going to be movement offset y'all, and we're going to need a u property visible anywhere, read only, category movement private access true so we're just going to copy that come down here and paste that go ahead and save that so we've added the movement offset y'all and it's a float visible anywhere blueprint read only movement category private allow private access now let's jump into the wukong anim instance.cpp file So inside here is where the majority of the logic is, well, actually where all the logic is going to be. So we need to get the offset y'all to use in the blend spaces, and I'll show you that later. So get offset y'all to use in blend spaces. First thing we are going to need, we're going to need two F rotators. So we're going to need F rotator, and we want it to be aim rotation. And we need to get, get the Wukong character, and in there we can get get base aim rotation. Get base aim rotation. And we need another F rotator. This one's going to be movement rotation. So movement rotation. And for that, we are going to use the U Kismet Math Library. So use Kismet Math Library. Make wrote from X. Because we're going to be going in the X direction, Wukong character, and get a velocity. Now, go ahead and save this. Make sure you add the header up here. The include kismet, kismet math library dot h. Okay, so this says local variable aim rotation is never used. That's because we need to the movement movement offset y'all that we created we need to use the u kismet math library again this time we're going to be doing a normalized delta rotator normalized delta rotator so movement rotation and aim rotation Okay, so we did the movement offset y'all equals UKismet math library normalized delta rotator. The movement rotation and then aim rotation dot y'all. Make sure that these parentheses are right because you just need to do the dot y'all at the end. And also make sure your the include kismet math library is there. So we're getting the offset y'all to use in the user in the blend space. We get the aim rotation through Wukong get base aim rotation. We get the movement rotation, UKismet math library, and we're make a rotator from X, Wukong get velocity. So these are saying local variable aim rotation can be made at const. So let's go ahead and do that. So I wanted to go over some stuff to show you in the blueprint. You see how we have here set up pitch, y'all, and roll. The pitch is false, the y'all is true, and the roll is false. Also, we have orient rotation to movement, and that is true. So if we go into the editor, we go into Wukong Blueprint. Open full blueprint editor. Go to Wukong character BP and 
just type in controller. So use controller rotation pitch is false. So rotation yaw is true. Rotation roll is false because that's how we had it set up in the code. So if this rotation yaw, if that is false, it's going to override what you did in the code. So now it's going to look like that. So you have to make sure that your blueprint rotation y'all is true because the blueprint is going to override whatever is there. Also, if we go to character movement and we go to rotation, as you can see here, orient rotation to movement, we set that to true. Also, the rotation rate, the X, the Y, and the Z, we have 540 because that is what we set in the code. So make sure that you double check the blueprint and make sure that they are set correct because what's ever in the blueprint is going to override what you put in the code. Okay, so now that we're in the editor, let's go to the Wukong blend space that's in underscore Wukong character. Now, we need to, to get the offset y'all because Right here, you're moving forward. And if you see the little pop-up window, let me move around. There we go. So I'm hitting control and moving the mouse. So right now it says offset y'all is 0 0.15. But if I start moving it over, you see how Wukong is strafing? He's strafing at an offset yaw of about 45 degrees, then about 90 degrees. Then it starts going backwards about 180 degrees. So when you're going forward, it's zero. But when you are going left, it's negative 45, negative 90, negative 180. So this is the offset yaw. So that's why up here we need to go horizontal access name offset y'all minimum axis negative 180 maximum axis 180. So if we go into the Wukong Anum blueprint. And let's see, you're on your event graph. I'm going to double click on Anim Graph in the bottom left. So go to Locomotion, go to Idle Run. Now we didn't put in the offset, y'all, because we didn't have the code set up. But now we do. Because inside here, we've got. Wukong Anim Instance. Movement offset y'all. Visible anywhere. Blueprint, blueprint read only. So now we can go into right click. Movement. Movement category. Get movement offset y'all. And go ahead and plug that right in. Go ahead. Compile and save. Go ahead and click play. And now you can move left and right, strafing forward and strafing forward and backwards. Now, granted, the animations are not all that great, but that's what you get for free. So uh, that's how you can do that. Now, there are a couple things. That's how you set up strafing. Now, a couple things will happen. Sometimes you'll come in here, and I think it's set up with 0, 100, I believe. I'm not sure. 
That's because the blend space right here, offset y'all, was not set up properly. So if you have anim animations and you're trying to get the strafing and it's set up like that, well, that's the problem right here, is you need to do the minimum access, negative 180 and positive 180. So negative 180 and positive 180. So now that we have that correct, because sometimes, and I've done this before, I just had these numbers wrong. Let's see, dismiss, 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 dismiss. Those are just errors because I'm messing around. So now when we go in, strafing is correct now. So you have to make sure you, you have that set up. So that's all I have for this video. Uh, the next video I am going to do is we are going to set up eight-way blend spaces. Then after that, we're going to do jumping and sprinting. Thank you very much. Make sure you like and subscribe and share the video. Bye for now.